My name is Julian Velasco. I'm a saxophonist and I am Sedi's emerging artist. I'm here in Galvin Recital Hall and I'm recording my new upcoming record. It's going to be released in August 2022, so this coming fall. And I've been collaborating with Winston Choi on piano for some original music for saxophone and some new additions to the repertoire as well. Largely, like the album is about relationships. Um, each one of the pieces has a different kind of aspect of my own life and kind of where I come from. Uh, and so when I was selecting the repertoire, it was largely about, you know, what was a personal connection to me. Um, and so when I was deciding the those pieces, um, I thought about the different relationships I have with my friends, my colleagues, my mentors, and each one of them has a very specific place in my heart and a very specific place in my own musical voice. Um, and that's kind of how I've come to this amalgamation of a record. I think for me, the repertoire is reflective of the different relationships I've built over the years. And I think that as an artist, it's really important for me to feel connected with the music that I'm playing on a personal level, even, even beyond maybe just like a musical interest or musical intent. Um, it means a lot to play music by people that I know and people that I have gotten a chance to, you know, share a piece of life with. And so I think if anything, it reflects the I think it kind of reflects the, the different kinds of friendships, the different kinds of uh, mentorships and kinships that I've developed over the years. And it, more than reflecting me personally, it also reflects the village of people that I've kind of amassed over the years. Well, I mean, the recording process itself has been incredible to work with, with Bill and Jim and Winston to kind of help make this record come to life. Uh, they are brilliant and have been so helpful in kind of honing in all the little details and all the artistry as we're, we've been evolving into it. And more than anything, you know, it's really kind of fine-tuning the vision of the music that I've been playing um, and really crafting, you know, a, a kind of a, a, a final statement for now, a way that I can kind of, you know, show, show this in a really finite way um, all these different people and all these different relationships over the years uh, to a larger audience through kind of the final product of this record. And it's really forced me to, to really, really know, know what I'm doing and really um, hold myself to a, as high of a standard as I can. Well, this is my first record, period. Um, as a, as a solo artist, it's pretty incredible to get a chance to finally release like a, a true uh, commercial record uh, that isn't, you know, a live performance or it's, it's uh, a record for many artists, especially a lot of musical artists. This is the stepping stone towards the next phase of their career. Um, and to be able to have something that I can use as not only like a statement of my own artistic vision, but also as a way of connecting with other people. Maybe people that I normally can't reach out to or I don't have those kinds of connections or those kinds of relationships. Yet, this is an opportunity to kind of expand the world that I, I touch and I reach. Um, so in many ways, I think that this is kind of the beginning of you know, a new era of being able to um, share my music.